Well, it's not moving day. It's messy day. See, we have the bike in here. I didn't want to fold it up and put it in the pass-through storage. And it's because we're preparing to go to the RV show. We just didn't know what to bring. I guess I'm going to bring the laptop and maybe sneak some stuff up. I try to be, you know, one of the first people that post the show. The, the only way you can do that is if you have a good internet connection and you have, uh, you know, your laptop with you to do editing. I guess I could edit on the phone. It's not very convenient, though. It's a little clunky. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a date. We're going to try to get some good footage for you at the show. Uh, still have a review to do. I have actually believe it or not another bike coming, which I don't know how that's going to work. Um, obviously, I could take this with us to the hotel, but this is here for security. You know, we have like five cameras out there floating around. Somebody asked us about that, so I dug them out. Um, what kind of camera you know there's if you go to our store we have links in our description if you go to the store um, you should see this camera there uh, so go ahead and click the link in the video description and um, like I said it should show you this camera uh, this is probably the best camera that wise offers right now uh, for outdoor um, I, I'm very impressed with it very very impressed and you can see the motions that it does I uh, may do a review on it in the future um, we've had these cameras I mean these are actually cameras they're pretty durable that ain't gonna make a difference <laughs> trust me <laughs> um, these things are uh, when we had our home um, we had I think four of them at our house and now we have um, four of these now I believe in addition to what I was just showing you, uh, we have a couple of those wise cams. Um, so anyways, getting back, uh, our EasyCom, I've, I've talked about it so many times, and um, I'll talk about it again briefly, but I, I'll tell you what I told um, Bob and Michelle. Um, if you guys are watching, Bob and Michelle are up in uh, Tarpon Springs area, and they contacted us and said hey we want to take you out to dinner to one of our favorite spots well they've been trying to take us out to dinner for the last I don't know two years or something because the beginning of the email uh, was just response you know a response email from previous chain the previous chain of communication and I think it all started way back in the beginning of 2021 and we finally got to connect with them um, we had a great time I think we we were at the the place for like five hours just hanging out talking um, but thank you guys it was a blast and I told them and I'll tell you guys this um, you know I do a review a lot of reviews on a lot of different things if you see me reiterating and rehashing a couple of things over and over again there there's good reason um, the, we like it we think it's a, a great product um, that's why we're always talking about Brooklyn betting uh, we love it um, that's why we talk about EasyCom. it's been a staple for us to communicate while we're on the road this entire time um, our blue technology water filters perfect great super uh, again all these links are down in the description and why do I keep on saying that well that helps support the channel that that helps with our uh, communication basically showing hey our audience is responding to this product uh, based on a code that we have in the description uh, that tells whoever you're going to you know communicate with such as EasyCom um, or Blue Technologies or Brooklyn Betting um, it tells them hey your RV Daydream is sending these people to us and that gives us more clout with them for the future so you know it's a product we believe in it's a product we like to promote it's a product that we want to tell you about and share it to you so it's all pluses all the way across the board now you'll see reviews that we do throughout the year um, again on bicycles and stuff like that um, usually we don't rehash those too much it's that's kind of a one-time thing you know power station stuff like that um, that's just to let you know of something that we got we tried out we think it's kind of cool uh, there's a lot of reviews you guys don't ever see 
Uh, I'd have to say that out of every five reviews that we do, uh, there's one that you don't see. Um, there's just some product out there we, we don't believe in. And as far as even um, receiving product, out of every one review that we actually receive a product and we do a review on, um, there are, I think, 10 to 15 that we just we just tell them we're not interested. We all together. We don't even want the product sent to us. Some of it don't make any sense. But some of it uh, is kind of cool. So anyways, having this easy comm here, that gives the communication ring um, for all these cameras to communicate. And not only that, but the rig is connected up to it also. So I can control our temperature here. I can see what the temperature is inside the rig. I can raise and lower it if I want. You know, I could do a, a, a way setting that it does it all by itself, but I'd just rather control it myself based on what the temperature is like in clouds. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice thing to have. And if it wasn't for the fact that we needed to communicate with the rig, um, yeah, we would take that with us. Again, this is just, uh, you know, a, a box that plugs into the wall. There's no other cables that go to it. And, and that's pretty much all. You, you just let it do its thing. So Heidi was next door trying to secure some um, some help from our neighbor. Uh, we have a, a package that's supposed to be delivered here. And we just told him, hey, is there any chance if it does come in, if you could just... If he said not a problem. He said if it, we told him if you... Well, I asked her to tell him if it's if you get it, fine. If you don't get it, yeah. fine. It's not a big deal. It's not something. It's not a five hundred dollar you know camera or a six thousand dollar computer or something like that. It it's just some fenders for a bicycle that they're only two pounds and we're we're not too concerned if we get them or not. Um, but we're headed to the Tampa show. I was just telling them about all our review stuff and the wireless and how we get set up. So we're gonna basically oh that's the other thing i want to talk about heidi's running just a, a load of uh, a load of laundry there let me close this out so it's a little bit yeah i think that lights it up it lightens it up a little better this is the other benefit of having laundry i mean if not i'd be waiting here and heidi would be up at the laundromat doing laundry um you know she can just throw a load of those are all towels yeah they're actually dry oh so you can just so leave them. I, I was just going to shut it off and leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I just don't leave care them in there. My towels are wrinkled. <laughs> yeah. But it's there, nice. There's no clothes so in it's there. nice. We could just leave if we wanted to. Um, yeah, they're, they're dry. Yeah, it's not that bad. So, uh, another benefit of having the, the laundry. So, we're kind of excited to see what's at the show. Um, we know that a lot of these manufacturers, though, aren't coming out with new models until June or July. So it's kind of bittersweet. We're going to probably see a, a lot of rehash. Hopefully we see something new and exciting. Uh, of course, checking out Rockwood and Flagstaff. Um, we'll, we'll go over anything that we missed. I think I want to go over the, the one fifth wheel again that we oh, liked. I'm going to say something because I've been chewing gum in almost every video. Well, you all know that I quit smoking, so yeah. I'm always chewing gum. Yeah, I don't, you know, it's funny. I had somebody tell me a long time ago on my other channel, back in like 2000. It is rude. But 2008. <laughs> they said, I can't believe you're on the camera. Let me rephrase that. Something. I can't believe you're on the TV chewing gum. Well, I'm not on my TV. I'm on a camera <laughs> in my garage, you know. So. But I, yeah, so I'm always chewing gum. Yeah. That's just what it is. But I, I whenever he fires up the camera i'm like ah oh, crap i'm chewing gum oh i wouldn't and, care and i'm chomping on it but somebody made a comment and i told him why i was chewing gum yeah yeah would we rather want her on the camera smoking yeah <laughs> i'm sure she wouldn't mind it but i sure sure would yeah so, so that's, that's why we're um we're heading out we'll pick this up later uh, and the reason that we're kind of packaging everything up is uh we're just staying at the hotel um, the reason we're going to stay at the hotel is uh, it's across the street, and I'm a IHG Gold member. Gold member. <laughs> um, the nice thing about that is uh, I can cash in points for free stay. Well, we knew we were going to the Tampa show, so we just dumped off a bunch of points for a free stay and at the Tampa location right across the street from the show. 
So it's right across the street. We'll probably still have to Uber. <laughs> yeah, it's the traffic's I horrendous. Like, I don't think there's there's no crosswalk. Yeah, I, and they, as far as I know, they're not going to stop traffic or anything. <laughs> Uh, we might be able to do it. Should have grabbed our scooters and shot our, should run our scooters well, across. Oh, we can. <laughs> I don't know. Once we get to the park, what are we going to oh, do yeah. then? Lock them up somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, that, that would kind of suck. Maybe we can uh, talk somebody in real nice with a golf cart to drive us back to the hotel. <laughs> or drive it, yeah. Yeah, that'd yeah, be kind of cool. Nice. All right, let us get going here. We'll show you what we can see uh, at the Tampa RV show. This is 2023. Well, we got everything out of the car. You can see. Looks like a junkyard it on does a look, cart. It is a junkyard <laughs> on a cart. But guess where the show is? That's it. There's the gates right there. So this is why we uh, we reserved. I'll tell you. We can play Frogger tomorrow. Yeah, we got to play Frogger. We have to jump across that highway, and there's no easy way. Well, actually, we're driving tomorrow. Because we got to be at the other side of the fairgrounds yeah, for industry day. Um, this is a advantage disadvantage to staying here though for a few days, and that's. Uh, I wonder five, how yeah. we're going to eat. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's going to be poorly because that's five guys right there. And it's expensive. It's uh, not cheap. Well, we'll go in there and tell them we oh, want to. We want a senior discount. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this is why we're here. This is. Um, this is why we used our points and decided to reserve this room which is kind of nice because if you guys aren't holiday in gold members or whatever we've we've been holiday in elite members or gold members or since we hit the road way before then well way before then you you went the next level whenever yeah we hit the right road. but you, you right took that phone call <laughs> yeah so yeah i took a phone call and decided <laughs> to go and do a little thing hey there's that uh, it was up at the um, I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see this because I can't zoom in I mean I can but I don't think it's gonna be good enough but um, they've got uh, oh, the, the chassis. chassis that was at the frog rally yeah that's kind of cool I got a little one too all right we'll We're talk to you guys uh, later we gotta go get in our room well this is a familiar sight I always hate this part of it because it doesn't make quite a hundred percent common sense to me and basically what it is is they have a limited parking area here for uh, industry day they also have camper check-in at the same time well industry day uh, is if you guys don't know for people that have some sort of credentials that they want to you know shoot video here uh, news stations and of course youtubers like us and that's mainly most of these people are youtubers um, or bloggers and they have a tent that you go and check in which is cool I mean that that all makes sense uh, it's just everybody's coming over here they're all parking their vehicles and then they're checking in you know getting their their passes and credentials to get into the the uh, show and today is industry day so only a, a, a you know limited amount of people are to come in but then you got to come back out to your car once you check in that's what Heidi's doing right there you come back out to your car and now you've got to go find parking so I didn't understand I was just talking to the camera why you have to come over here wait in line which we oh, and it's even more confusing because it says company name uh-huh and it's by alphabet uh -huh. so that's what i did and then there's media over here oh yeah well, and there's no sign really, yeah and i didn't see her because there's too many people <laughs> right but she's real organized so yeah so the idea is that um the companies are checking in here uh, I don't think camper registrations here. That's another camper check-in somewhere different. Well, anyways, still you've got a lot of confusion as far as the the car the line of cars coming in here. And now here's the best part. Now we leave this area. Yeah, we gotta go to the white parking. Yeah, and we have to go find our parking. Free parking for the week. Yeah, which so is nice. We don't have to. We don't have to walk if we don't want yeah. to. 
All right. So the, anyways, just let you know that if when you come to the show... It's if, organized. It is very organized. Except for the line yeah. and the parking to get yeah. your credentials. Yeah, the first After you day, get your credentials, everything's fine. But, you don't have to do this tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow we just go to the show. So today we're going to go ahead and try to hop in some RVs here before the show actually starts and see if we can get you guys some coverage without people going in and out other than the people that you see here oh yeah that'll be nice yes okay so this is organized it says red parking red parking and we're w parking i guess they just wanted to say w or white parking this this is slow down it says <clears throat> which i'm sure people are flying through here but sign says slow up oh, w parking this is awesome this is organized here exhibit or something oh this is nice you can see our hotel it's right across the street there that's funny. So I'll make a left here. And this guy's checking everybody in, it looks like. Nice. So we're here early. Everything's pretty much a ghost town. There's a few people floating around here. But industry day is the best day for us to be able to get what we need covered without being interrupted. Ain't that right? Yeah. So but let's we're not really that. early. Yeah, we're going to do that. It started at 10. Yeah. <laughs> which was how many seconds ago 16 minutes, 16 ago. minutes ago whoopsie do well it's definitely safe to say that there's a lot more units here than the last time we were here they crammed them in well you gotta remember the last time that we were here they were short units they everybody was on shortages remember yeah they didn't have as many units as they wanted the materials were short production was low we had people trying to buy our unit, our travel trailer, while we were here. And then the year before that, um, we had some of these manufacturers that weren't even here, right? Right. And the reason was, it was COVID, right in the middle of COVID, which was crazy. I can't believe how much there was as far as uh, people not being here, right? Right. Yeah. And it actually, there's, I would imagine that this is gonna be a record. Showing. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it could I be. could be wrong. Yeah, it could be. So, what yeah. we're trying to do is get over to Forest River, the Rockwood, or Flagstaff. So, we're headed that way. All right. So, the display uh, that's set up by Rockwood or for Rockwood is by Blue Compass RV. I'm not familiar with that, but uh, this is going to be easy. So, Remember what I said, a lot of these units, um, at least all of the uh, ultralight lines, they've gone now to signature. So you're going to see, even in a travel trailer like this, instead of it normally saying ultralight, um, you're going to see the word signature, and you're going to see awning covers, which is awful nice to have. A lot of these units also, even on a travel trailer now, they have ground control leveling. They have a, a leveling jack so let's go ahead and try to give you some details on this even though it's this is kind of the way they transported some of their displays up um, this is an 8263 and it is a front kitchen this is um, the same bar setup we have here we talked about this one before because it has the mid bedroom um, we like the way this one is laid out uh, it's relatively heavy because of the automatic leveling that's on a travel trailer. I mean, that's it's sweet. It's it's actually that, but um, limited. You know, you're limited in here. I I, I would have to work sitting here um, or have a TV tray, which we could. We could do all that. It's doable. Of course, the mid bedroom, the mid bunk. If you if you're not familiar with the way most of these manufacturers number the units um, or put letters in their units like if they talk about rk it's rear kitchen if they talk about uh bs that could be bed slide or bh is bunkhouse um if you got rb it's usually a rear bath well whatever they say on the lettering is usually the feature that stands out the most so the fact that this one says something about a mid bedroom you can see that this room is the most prominent in the whole RV. It's huge. It's just a big bedroom. However, with that said, they do have a nice bathroom. Um, I'm, again, I've talked about this before. 
Dual double sinks, I have no idea why. That's twice the cleaning, twice the mess, and you have less counter space. But it's a thing, it's a feature, I understand. Lots of cabinets in here. Uh, it's nice. Um, it's a pretty good step up into the shower, I guess. We could get used to that. Um, but this is our shower. This is the shower we have in our fifth wheel. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, Heidi likes it. She said, go ahead and sign the papers and do this one. Camping. Well, I think it's a little bit above beginners. Oh, I said weekend. Oh, weekend. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about full time. I guess you could do it. Okay, so Heidi's saying that this is probably one of their longest, and I agree, uh, travel trailers. Um, of course, the automatic leveling system. It's a one-touch ground control. This is just like what's on our fifth wheel. Uh, except we have landing jacks in the front. And this is a 8337. It's a rear living room. So what you're going to get in here is a fifth wheel layout in a travel trailer format. So same deal. You can get a fifth wheel that looks like this, right? I mean, this is this is basically what the fifth wheels look like. Yeah. Um, there is a floor plan that uh, Rockwood offers that is this layout, but this is in a travel trailer. Some of you don't want to pull fifth wheels. Some of you don't want to invest in that hitch. I understand. Looks very nice. <laughs> yeah, how do you like it? Big pantry, lots of countertop. The bathroom's going to be very similar to ours. I have a feeling. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Minus the cabinets, they change them around a little. Still, a little bit of an issue with the door. Um, we'd prefer that it's a, a sliding door or swings the other way. I don't care for this, but... Uh, no place for washer and dryer, but it is a, a nice area. It's large. Yes. Yeah. So, it's, it's, it's spacious. full-time in here, you could do it. You just yeah. won't have a washer and dryer, which we've gotten used to, and... If we would have been first starting off and not traveling as much as we would, um, we probably would have gone with something a little bit longer, a little bit more spacious. This is a nice entertainment area. I know it doesn't come out on camera necessarily, but there is a lot of room. Heidi can see in the microwave. That's a big deal. This is nice because there's some counter for prep work. And in our case, the ice maker, coffee maker. <laughs> Yeah, this ain't bad for a travel trailer, and um, I, I put it right up there with uh, some of the fifth wheels as far as its accommodations. You could full-time in here. Um, I don't know about traveling a lot, but you could. Yeah, that's a nice unit. I love the way these things feel. Um, one of the things that we talk about a lot is why we like the Rockwoods, why we've been with Rockwood for so long, and it's a quality feel. Uh, I don't know how to describe it other than whenever you walk into like a log cabin and there's just something about it that just feels really cozy homey homey and secure and tight that's kind of what you get in with this and we will travel into other rvs today i'm sure that we'll walk in and it'll be flimsy it'll just be it, you could just feel it there's there's a vibe that goes along with these things so um getting into this one even though it's a travel trailer uh, it's a very big, nice travel trailer, and you get that feeling right away. Heidi's picking out sure. all these long travel trailers. Now, this one's a little bit different in the fact that it is an ultralight. It's not a signature. Um, so they're still producing that line in travel trailers, it looks like. Um, and it don't have the ground control leveling. These are stabilizer jacks. There's a big difference between a stabilizer and a leveler. Uh, this unit as far as its length is it's up there so this is a 2906 bs 355 wow 355 and again i think what you're going to see here is a fifth wheel layout in a trailer yeah this is um very similar to the last one obviously back here a little different um 35 i i still don't like the tow 35 myself uh not not in a trailer because you got to figure that when you're hooked up to like in our case a crew cab crew cab long bed um, we are you know 55 feet from front bumper of the truck to the rear bumper of an rv on an rv that you know a travel trailer it's only 29 and a half feet 
Uh, so whenever you, you know, add another six foot to that, um, you know, now you're over 60 foot from front bumper to rear bumper as you travel down the road. And when you get into some of these parks, I mean, it, it's pretty tight. Uh, some of the features this one has is just like ours, and I, I, I hope that they keep continuously keep on doing this. Uh, a lot of storage behind the TV uh, makes it really nice for, um, like in our case, I have all my camera gear, electronics gear. This is where my computer rides when we're going from one site to the next. So nice layout Our there. Is 85, 59. 85. Wow, that's heavy. And, and the hitch weight is 1,100 pounds. So just to give you perspective on that, our travel trailer we had, our, our 2604 WS, uh, which we towed all over the place, when it was fully loaded, if we maxed it out, it was 8,800. And this is how much empty? 85,59. 85,59 before you put anything in here. Yeah, it says cargo weight 1341. Wow, put 1300. that in. Okay, cargo, yeah, cargo carrying capacity is 1300. Yeah. So what's the what's the total weight? What's the grand total weight it can be? Um, zero, 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 nine, uh, 99. 99. Wow, our fifth wheel is only 12,000 pounds when it's fully loaded. So yeah. it's something to think about. Microwave's up kind of high. The sink's over here, a little bit different on that. That's, That's different than it's not above the stove. So. Again, with the door, um, you're going to see. I don't know. I, I wish it would come the other way, but this is a pass-through. That makes it a little easier. Big linen storage. We love the linen storage uh, that's provided. Rockwood does a pretty good job with that. They Lo changed uh, the lots of countertop. New. It's porcelain. Yeah. It's a, and it's totally new. Yeah, it's like a round bowl. Yeah. And then you have a bedroom slide. Now the bedroom slide here, uh, this slide is pretty much I think identical to the one that we have in our fifth wheel. Actually, it's a little bit taller than the one we have in our fifth wheel. It has drawers in the front. Ooh, does I it? Like that. Oh, ours don't have drawers. On our travel trailer, we this had. bed lift up. I'm assuming it does. Yep. Nope. They don't have a lift oh. up. Oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say that's kind of odd. Oh, nice outdoor storage. So there's outdoor storage there. So uh, it seems like that you're going to be losing your pass-through storage that some of these have in the front. And that was another big selling point for our travel trailer we used to have. Uh, we had a big pass-through. But it's nice. Um, just as a word of note that I talked about before, uh, we've never really used these front windows whenever there's a bed up against it. We wish it had a headboard. So if there's a bed slide versus having a north and south bed, we prefer the bed slide. Uh, definitely because we never had our shutters open we never had our blinds open on our windshield in the front ever so it kind of went to waste and we didn't have a headboard and we hated that we were always leaning up against the pull down blinds so it's got the solar package here plus it's got the oh yeah nice big landing step yeah nice here's a little bit different uh we got a double door but it's a 2706. How do I get the details for you? Uh, a couple things you're going to see with this that I don't uh, or don't well don't normally see but I understand why is that it has two separate awnings on it which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Uh, you can't do one to cover the whole unit because it's just too big so I understand why they go to two but it, you don't see it. Normally they just give you a little short one. Most things manufacturers just give you a short one. So this walks into the bedroom. We're going to leave that closed. Let's go the other way. We'll come into the bedroom. Also. Yeah, I noticed that, but it's because they're travel trailers. They got rid of the ultralight name and the fifth wheels, everything signature. Yeah. I'm assuming if that's unlocked, which I don't know if it is, Heidi will try to open it. It looks like it's unlocked. All right, so for you that need that outdoor kitchen, there you go. We got an outdoor kitchen. And it is a bunkhouse. So the benefits of these bunkhouses is that if you're not entertaining kids, you can put this up and pin it up so you have storage. Um, this does go all the way up, by the way. And it will latch uh, up top here. So you, you could have storage there, like you could put your bikes in there. Uh, there is a door, but you'd have to come through this way. The door is only so tall. Uh, for kids that just visit occasionally, that's nice. 
The problem that you're going to have to be concerned with, which I'll talk about here in a second after we show you the bathroom. Beautiful in here. I kind of like this bathroom. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice considering this small footprint in here. I like the little bit bigger countertop, um, and I believe it's a little higher. Yeah. No, no linen storage whatsoever in here. That's a downfall. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying, the downfall to having this as storage is everybody wants to just start loading their totes up back here. Listen, you, this is a trailer and it and even even fifth wheels are affected by it. Even fifth wheels are are really uh, affected by it. Um you you can't load up your trailer incorrectly and expect it to go down the road nice and smooth without sway. Even with Oh, I got a one ton and I got weight distribution and sway control and all that. I don't care if you misload a trailer, it's going to want to sway regardless. So watch using this as storage. Um, still, it can be done. We'll go ahead and open this back up now. Let's see what's in here, which we know is a pantry. We love these things. They got great nice. storage in here. Again, there's a, there's a nice feeling that goes on whenever you enter these things that just feel nice this and tight. This is 3210. 32. Well, and I could do it, that. It, the weight is 87. A wow. little over 8,700 pounds. Wow. And uh, the hitch weight is 84. Eight, 844. 844. Not bad. So this is the room we were walking into and I backed out. It says it'll sleep eight. Uh, I guess it could. You got a dinette that drops mm -hmm. down. So here's your storage here. This is where you would have your linens for your bathroom, most likely. That's usually what this cabinet does whenever it's in a uh, unit that has their bathroom near the bedroom. Um, and again, I'll, I'll point that out. Oh, that's pretty nice there. This is uh, very similar to what we had in our uh, previous Rockwood, our, our travel trailer, yeah. as far as the front. Um, there's a big, huge pass-through storage. That's why you see this here. Uh, this doesn't affect you getting in and out of bed whatsoever. I actually, and Heidi will say the same thing, we preferred, and I wish our bed setup was like this currently, with these big tables, and even this here. I don't have my pillows falling off. It's easier to sleep, uh, it just all the way around. I enjoyed that part. I do like it this much better also because I don't have to step up on the carpet in the fifth wheel part. Right. It, it's just kind of weird <laughs> right so the uh thing that i've talked about since the very f some of the earliest videos that we did covering rvs and i'll talk about it here also there's your bathroom right there this is the main entrance to the rv so from this point to here and maybe even here even if you kick your shoes off i'm going to tell you this is going to have all kinds of dirt you're going to have sand you're going to have just it's going to be a more dirty area no matter how much you keep it swept how much you want to think that it's going to stay clean even again like i said you taking off your shoes maybe kicking them off and you can kick them underneath the door there whatever sand has a way to find its way in so in the middle of the night, when I get up out of bed and I have to go to the bathroom, which is often uh, just because of getting older, um, that's going to require me to end my bare feet to come traipsing through, go to the bathroom, through this dirt, and guess what comes back to bed with me? My dirty feet. It doesn't matter if, if you mop and sweep the floor before you go to bed because it's a losing battle. Yeah, there's just no way. <laughs> So this is why we like to have our bathroom, have our bathroom next to our bedroom. Um, nice. So yeah, these pass-through storages on these travel trailers, this is similar in size to what I had on our 2604. So how do you open this? And I'll be able to show you what it looks like inside there. Magnetic latches, we always love that. But look how big this is got its uh, inverter there for solar power um, basically that allows you to run off your batteries nice and they do include griddles with these there's no longer the outdoor little uh, grill all right I think if I'm not mistaken 
we're looking at a unit is the most popular floor plan by far so here's the deal Heidi don't even have to look up numbers because yeah. I already know it when we were shopping for our 2604 WS we knew that's the model we wanted right next to it was this model and that's something that this was a new model then it was a 2608 BS and that's what they currently call this they were identical they're identical in size they're identical in weight towing capability carrying ca capability all that um, we talked about going back and forth between this and the the 2604 WS and ultimately we chose what we did based on a couple factors however everybody else in this country pretty much has chose the 2608 BS so if you want to belong to a group that has a lot of units that have a lot of experience with a specific unit well 2608 BS it, that's the one you want to buy because everybody's got it so basically this thing weighs out 8800 pounds fully loaded it's got about 1500 pounds worth of cargo carrying capacity it is a rear bedroom we like the rear bedroom however uh we didn't like the fact that there wasn't any power outlets on the uh the the little shelves and whenever you had to put your slide in and out we were concerned with not being able to get to that or ripping something out like currently in our fifth wheel we leave all of our cords and stuff plugged in slide in slide out it doesn't make a difference it doesn't cause a problem when we boondock and that's the other reason we didn't chose this didn't pick this rv and we chose ours when you go boondocking and this slide is in you can't access that so now I can't charge my phone overnight. Even though that's run off of battery power, I can't charge my phone overnight. Um, and when I say that, boondocking, most people, especially in travel trailers um, and fifth wheels, I guess, too, um, it's kind of a courtesy thing. If you can't find a good spot um, that allows a lot of free room around you, you should keep all your slides in. You know, for a one-night stay at Walmart, at a truck stop, especially a truck stop, you're not putting your slides out if you're in truck parking. Um, with this slide in it limited our access to that uh, the other thing was uh, we could access the bathroom which was a little bit smaller than ours um, there, you know the, the 2604 used to have a huge linen I mean a big linen storage and then you were relegated to this small storage that this one has although there was more storage underneath uh, you can see here um, it's just it was a little bit smaller than what the 2604 had in the bathroom even though the showers were the same it just seemed like it was a little tighter now there's two doors to this room i'll just let you know i don't know if you've seen the other one there's the other door so with the slide in this slide in it used to be and i don't know if this is still true that you couldn't get to the bathroom from this area that was a big deal when we hit the road we wanted to make sure that we could put out or stop and not put out our slides and have enough room to um, get into the bathroom get into the kitchen cook eat whatever go to bed go to the bathroom and not have to put our slides out and this one here with this slide in caused a problem there now I'd, I've never paid attention to this and, and right now as I'm looking at it I don't know if you can do this yeah so if you leave this door open and somehow you secure it which I'm not sure exactly how you do that and then you put this slide in you might I think with the slide I, I don't know I don't think you can walk through there still I, don't think so. I think it's it's too much the other thing that we didn't really care for about this and then I'll tell you about all the positives that this one has our 2604 which was the same length as this one which is 26 feet and about 9 inches uh, so it's not even a 27 foot box um, but it's it's real close or I'm sorry that's overall um, this is 29.9 yeah 29.9 ours was 29.11 or no it was 9 29.9 yeah. right so they're they're under 30 feet but ours the 2604 not only gave us a sofa you know we could option in this but we had just we had a sleeper sofa that popped out 
So not only could we have this, and not only could we have this, but we still had enough room for two rockers uh, in the back, which I got rid of one of the rockers and I turned out to make it a recliner. But still, we had so much more room just to sit. And the reason is, is because when I'm working, this is my workstation, I hog up the whole thing. Now, I'm gonna tell you that whenever we were looking at this one, we almost got it still for what Heidi's standing in right now. The kitchen space on this one was how many times better than ours? I say five times better. Yeah. Five times better sure. than what the 26 or 4. I have a hard time comparing it to anything compared to what I have now. <laughs> yeah, right. What we have but now this, is way this is crazy. way more. Uh, I only had like two cabinets. Right. And uh, so I guess what we should point out, what would be the, who would buy this one versus what we used to have? Definitely a weekend, a weekender. Yep. Um, somebody that likes to entertain with a couple people. You got a nice pantry here. You got all this cooking area. Um, it, it's, it's a very nice unit. If you're full time and on the road, you need a pass through storage. You need a big amount of storage. Yeah. And this one, you lose the pass through. You only get one side. That was the other reason that we yeah. liked what we had. Um, so, Looking back, as far as campers, weekend warriors, two weeks at a time, maybe even a month's trip, um, I'm sure there's people that are full-timing, but I'm definitely telling you that this one is the one to go for because of how easy it is to tow and, quite honestly, how fast we towed. We got all over the country with our travel trailer, which, again, is the same dimensions as this one, same weight and everything, and this is the perfect size to go see the country. Yeah. Again you got to worry about what you're carrying with you though and as far as full time we needed that workstation area and st we still wanted additional seating and we also wanted the pass through storage yeah if you wanted to buy something for uh short term but uh, travel the country this would be perfect oh yeah this is it so i guess we will look at the bunkhouse um one of the things i like about the mini lights are they're a little bit more you know a little smaller a little lighter and they actually do pretty much the same thing that uh, the big ones do with some exceptions so let's go ahead and look in here you can see there is storage down here uh, not bad there's a goes across all the way you can see the other side the camera's seeing it better than I am I like the way they do that again this is a mini light so don't expect the kind of uh, attributes you'll find in a full-size travel trailer and of course Heidi will get the uh, specs on this one it's a 2509 S um, not a big fan of these um, no offense to anybody that has the Murphy beds it's just not my thing um, we like a messy bed uh, we like it that we don't have to make our bed I mean it might be the middle of the day and we're going in and out of the RV and maybe Heidi wants to take a nap or maybe I want to take a nap or maybe I, we're ill you know our health has showed up a couple times so the whole idea behind this Murphy bed is that you save space obviously it does double duty but like Heidi when she recovered from heart surgery or me now full time on the road with these we know people that do it stressless camping uh, they have a mini light yeah. They do have a mini light. Yeah. So there's people that are doing it. I'm just saying it's a lot harder to do um, because that bed's going to be out. That's the door that you go in and out of right there. And if you're That's sick, be in the way. yeah, if you're sick, you're, you're dealing with that. But this is uh, definitely perfect for oh, yeah. anybody that wants to do outdoor. Yeah. If they're, you know, out at the... The state park and there's a lake nearby oh or, yeah or if they have four wheelers or whatever this would be perfect yeah especially since there's a bunkhouse back yeah. here which i'll show you in a second so what's the weight on this one 6800 just a little over 6800 and it is 26 foot long well like i said there's some pass-through storage on oh. that side the payload capacity is 1569 wow, that's a lot for how small this is and then the hitch weight is 709 and that's a lot for how small it is small little pantry here 
U-shaped dinette. I'm not a big fan of U-shaped because unless this table is out, and even then... Um, Perfect for little kids, though. Yeah, little kids in the yeah, back. Little... You want to trap them back there so they eat their vegetables. <laughs> so here's the uh, benefit to talking about little kids. Same thing, you have a door back here for your storage. So this half, again, I, I wish I could show that to you, um, but this folds all the way up. Um, you got to move the mattress away and do all kinds of work to make that happen. So <laughs> I don't want to do that. But this becomes storage. Again, such a small unit. The other thing is, you know, you got to be concerned about that. I'm taking that off in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, to go to the bathroom. And then the person that is little, they're hollering for you. <laughs> right, right. So then we have the bathroom. And this is night, considering, again, half of the unit is taken up by bed. They did a good job in here. They did a very good job, and that's a decent amount of storage. I'm very, very excited about how they do this with these smaller ones. So, good deal. Not bad at all. I'm, I'm impressed, um, but it is small.